Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 5. Thoughts? This episode is called A Hen in the Wolf House, which I'm guessing refers to Gemma. And yeah, another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. No spoilers in this video for anything after this episode. Yeah, in the MCU. And uh, yeah, the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG After Strikers and I implore you to do so. And then there's some links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike. So let's dive into the episode. So yeah, we open on the cliche, terrible speech by, you know, the best man and just, yeah. I appreciate that, you know, the episode is clearly aware that it's terrible. Um, I guess Va Valerie Hubbard's character, Aunt S Cindy, you know, asks, is is there anything more powerful in, in the bar? And, you know, so, so yeah, she's like, I cannot believe I'm sitting through, you know. And they say no, because they want everyone to drink the champagne because of the obelisk to test it, and, yeah, you know, it's, it makes a lot of sense, you know, they only have the, they don't have the obelisk itself, they only have the tissue from people that were, that had touched the obelisk, and, yeah, as Simmons later says, that's not the same as having access to the obelisk itself, you can't reverse engineer something that you know so little about. You know, it's it's alien technology. It would be, you know, if you took a piece of technology from today and asked, you know, and like traveled back in time 100, 150 years and asked the top scientists, they would be like, I don't know what this is. You know, I can't, re you can't reverse engineer something if you truly do not understand what you're looking at. And that is very much the case here. It's just too advanced for anything they, yeah without access to the original thing is what I mean yeah and we see that you know Colson accidentally carved some of the symbols on the table so it really is like he is struggling to contain it let's see and yeah so you know sky asks you know could you or, or wait or is it Lance someone asks Colson could you, right, right, yeah, Lance is the one who says, you're the director, couldn't you just declassify it? And Coulson says, I could, but I won't. And Sky pushes the, the issue, and Coulson threatens to fire her. So that, uh, you know, I, I do appreciate, you know, they've had this conversation before, but it's moving, it's not just the same thing. You know, she keeps pushing, you know, she's tried to be patient up till this point. And this is, you know, she's never pushed as hard as she does in this scene before, about this issue at least. And, you know, that's, yeah, that's the response. And then she does get, you know, later in the episode it, it changes. You know, I, it would be really obnoxious if it was just scene after scene without any real change which is something that I remember Lost doing, for example, which was also an ABC show. So, yeah, we see, you know, so again, his name is Z Zo Zabo, that's right, not Zola. Yeah, Zola, I think, is a different nerd property. I, f I forget which. But yeah, Zabo is, you know, operating on, you know, someone who couldn't go to the hospital. GSW, that's what they call it. You know, pe people who are not able to get what you might call high quality healthcare. And. Let's see. Yeah, and they, you know, they talk about, you know, you're. Yeah, Reyna says, you're losing control again. And we learn that Zabo does know Whitehall. And let's see. Yeah, and you know, I, I uh, yeah, Sunil is like, you two, come with me. 
I am resisting the urge to make it dirty. Consider yourself lucky. All I'm saying is there are things you could do to ensure that result. Okay. Anyway, yes, so very, very compelling when Whitehall and Simmons directly interact. You know, for a little while, you know, it keeps cutting back from him, to, to, you know, talking about it. And then she's like, you know, reading the, because she was just given this file. You know, she's a curious person. She keeps looking through it. And finally, he's like, Dr. Simmons, is it? And for a second, you're like, oh, he's going to be like, how dare you sit and look at the file while I'm talking? You know, I am your boss. This is America. You, you know, you have to do exactly what I say. You know, and no, he's just like, I hear that you might have a clear answer on this. And yeah, you know, she is indeed very, yeah, what she says makes a lot of sense. And yeah, she, you know, she and Kenneth talk and, and you know, she points out this could kill millions, billions of people. And he's like, isn't that awesome? Which very much, like, later in the episode when she frames him, we're like, you know, I mean, that's, that seems like, a, you know, he, he pretty much dug a hole for himself. That's not the, you know, yeah. And, yeah, and we see, you know, fits. I, I appreciate the, you know, I, you know, there's a lot for the male gaze on the show and in the MCU in general, so I appreciate that there's some for the female gaze, not that that's equivalent, but still, you know, I'm sure there were female viewers and gay men watching this show, ogling Henry Simmons playing Mac, you know, and, and Fitz is like, okay, so you're, you're, my subconscious, so obviously I have noticed. Let's see. Yeah, and I appreciate they don't make like a, a gay panic thing with that. You know, there's nothing wrong with us straight men. You know, yeah, I can look at Mac and be, yeah, okay, yeah. He is a lot of man. He's, he's an awful lot of man, I think was her line. And yeah, you know, he does not appear to need Fix Simmons anymore. That's what I like to call the Gemma Simmons that's just a figment of his imagination. And let's see. yeah, Lance brings up his ex again. Sky does not trust Reyna as a source, so talks to Ward about other stuff, which does make sense. And yeah, you know, turn, it, Ward tells the, yeah, talks about, you know, oh, like, Garrett, he drew on the, on the floor, on the walls, just, you know, till the sweat drip off. Not gonna finish that. And the, I, I quite like, you know, Simmons doing the, I'm gonna say dead drop, like, you know, voice, it's, yeah, you know, she says the thing that the the message is supposed to, and then she ends by saying fish tacos, which then makes it take the shape of, like, you know, it, it was just, it was like a piece of, it looked like a piece of blank see-through paper, and now it looks like, you know, yeah, a fish taco, it, uh, what's the word, like a, um, menu flyer kind of thing, you know, so, yeah, they're gonna, you know, pick that up from the trash, possibly comically run after the, you know, garbage truck, and they're gonna know that Hydra might get their hands on, you know, I think she did refer to it as WMD, which, yeah, and at the end of the episode, Zabo does get them the the obelisk so that's a really great hook for 
future episodes. And yeah, Sky, you know, I, I like, you know, Sky just does just burst into Coulson and he's like, yeah, come right in, why don't you? And they talk about the symbols. I think you're focusing on the wrong details. I mean, I guess I can see an argument for it, but you did just reveal to her that you've been keeping her under surveillance, and later in the episode she does say, definitely no more micro-cameras, which, yeah, um, man, some, ep some parts of this show are very much government propaganda, like, please don't worry about, you know, do not concern yourself with the man behind the curtain watching you via surveillance. And and I do like you know Sky's like so are, you're saying I'm an alien because you're no, no no a theory is what science and I appreciate that she used the the scientific community version of a theory and applied it correctly and then she says epic fail were people still saying that in 2014. Yeah, maybe is you know sometimes these kinds of things are way behind. Like remember when NCIS used the Numa Numa video, the original one, like years after people had stopped talking about uh, yeah. And let's see, they talk about you know they have a mole. And always happy to see Adrian Palicki in something. Just, you know, I, I don't think that, you know, I've, I have seen clips of the, the, I've seen a little bit of the Orville. I thought she was amazing there. I'm not going to make any, you know, I am, I am aware that the stuff that, The um, I've seen clips of her as Wonder Woman. I'm not saying that that looked like it was amazing, but I do feel I I don't think she was miscast. I think it was more the material she was given that was bad. I think she could have made a solid Wonder Woman, and yeah, I suppose it's not impossible that she might. Um. She's been kind of unfortunate. She, you know, Adrian Palicki, the the actress, has been unlucky with like she's, you know, she's put, she's she's gone for being in a bunch of these like nerd properties, and like a lot of the time she ends up like not getting to be on it for very long. So that's yeah. Um. But the yeah, she's she's awesome as Bobby Morse. Please, Bobby. And yeah, like she zeroes in on Simmons. And yeah, you know, Kenneth has you know Simmons planted the the thing, which it, you know great bit of editing with you know as soon as they come in and they're holding. So someone has something like this, you know, cuts, we see Simmons, she has at least one more in her, you know, in her drawer, and it's like, oh, they're going to find that, and it's going to, you know, and then when it cuts, you know, they open her drawer, it's, it's empty, it's empty, empty, the opposite of full, this drawer was supposed to be full, and... Yeah, you know, she managed to sneak it into to Kenneth drawers drawer, and the yeah, you know, he's like, I'm almost certain I was framed. Okay, I think that's enough pop culture references for one scene, but but yeah, you know, that was very very clever, and yeah, you know, of course she has more. In case of future, you know, emergency reports. And, right, I like the, the you know, Raina shows up and the, the you know, after, yes, Sky has to try to calm down the, the, the 
chef, I guess, kitchen, something or other, you know, saying you, you will be compensated, which, yeah, I'm sure the American government will compensate for the harm they do to regular people, but okay. And yeah, Reyna shows up and she's like, good to see you, you know, Phil. And he's just like, Reyna, which is, of course, you know, he's he's restraining himself from saying, bad to see you. And yeah, she threatens to expose Simmons. And Simmons <laughs> was apparently like choreographing around the bathroom. And she, I love how she towers over. I'm not, I mean... Elizabeth Henstridge is uh, kind of kind of short. You know, I've seen shots on this show where you can see like her. Uh, yeah, you can see that she's not very tall. Adrian Palicki, yeah, I think she is fairly tall. So the and and I appreciate the camera work, like underlining the way that she does tower over. Yeah, she's 5'11", or 1 meter and 80 centimeters in real measures. And just, yeah, the, the you know, it, it is very much like Simmons has to, like, look up. Like, she's just, yeah, really, really great. And let's see. And, and yeah, very, very clever that, you know, she's like, did you plant that on Ke Kenneth? And you know, she says, no, 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 yeah. She does. She says it with more conviction than that. But you know, and Morse is like, then I'm sure there's nothing wrong on your hard drive, is there? And you know, later she reveals, yeah, she did get Simmons' hard drive, because of course, you know, she goes in and says, you know, I suspect, you know, cer certainly if anybody asked, she would say. The, you know, the reason I'm taking this is I suspect that Simmons might have been working with Kenneth. So I'm going to investigate, the, you know, very clever. So, yeah, by the end of the episode, S.H.I.E.L.D. has some Hydra files, which, you know, Simmons says the only stuff on the hard drive is Hydra files. Yeah, if your security personnel are secretly working for your enemy, your enemy might end up with... So it's, yeah, very clever using the, you know, the paranoid nature of Hydra against them. Because if you think about it, you know, let's hypothetically say they weren't as paranoid as we're seeing them be here. You know, like normally if someone is like, I'm going to confiscate your hard drive, it's like, I mean, you better have some evidence to back that up, you know. But you don't need that if you are convinced that there's something going on and... The person asking for it is someone you trust to deal with matters of security. Let's see. And and yeah, also, you know, when when she says to, to Simmons, you know, you're not a very good liar, are you? Like she's, you know, essentially saying, like, I'm not sure Colson I, I understand why Colson sent me to to watch over you, because you are not a good liar. And Reyna asks for Sky, gives two minutes to decide, and M Melinda May actually has to. I keep. I know we can. I I am aware I can just call her May. It's because when I in my shorthand, I write M M for Melinda May in case there's another word I need to name or something I need to shorten to M. That's why I end up saying Melinda May instead of just May. But yeah, you know, May has to actually restrain Sky from, yeah. And yeah, Reyna says, you know, I'll take Sky somewhere she's always wanted to go. But before Sky can be like oh, Disneyland, she reveals, no, you know, to be with her father. Eh, I mean, that's like number four on the list. But but okay, I guess. Can we at least stop at McDonald's on the way? And. Yeah, the the two minutes pass, and she, and and it was like legitimately, I did not see that coming. I did not expect for Bobby to be a double agent, and for Colson to actually let the two minutes pass, 
you know, at first I thought he was like calling her bluff or something, but nope, it did get sent. And I, I love the shot, or the, the couple of shots, but, you know, Simmons like walking and she's like, what, you know, everyone is staring at her, so, uh, you know, and she reaches her computer and it has the, the revealing, incriminating picture. And, you know, Bobby and these two guards walking down the hallway to, to catch up to her. And she gets out these long, you know, the baton things. And she beats the two guards. And we see that she's actually an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. And they do a really great job. That's when she starts smiling. Now that she has reason to, you know. She had, to, when she maintained her cover, she never smiled. And it's that thing of, like, Adrian Palicki, she has a great smile, you know. So when... Like, but but she can also do this really, really badass kind of thing. So, yeah, whenever we're seeing, you know, yeah, when we see her not smile for a long time, you know, we think that that's going to be the character. And then, you know, they do actually have her. Oh, I, hmm. I guess I'm thinking of someone. I could have sworn she was on burn notice, but nothing comes up when I do a word search for that. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking of a, a different act. Am I thinking of, am I thinking of the, uh, Kristana Loken, maybe? I think it was, uh, yeah, I believe it was Kristana Loken. Anyway, but yeah, you know, and now that she's, uh, you know, she smiles several times at, at Simmons. She's still towering over her. It's still very much, you know, she has to, like, they look like mother and daughter. That's an exaggeration, but seriously, like, it's just, you know, statuesque towers over Simmons, and, but, but yeah, just the, you know, nice warm smiles, you know, there's, there's some actresses, if they do the, the tough kind of thing for a really long time, then if they have to try to, like, force a smile, it doesn't feel, you know, they've essentially forgotten it, they've, you know, and and I, I don't blame them. I blame the the expectation that you know women in action have to be completely cold and, and such. But yeah, and yeah, Lance, you know, moves up to the the table and ah, oh, we're doing the tag and tail. And so, hey, I gotta stop doing Australian accents. Apologies to any Australians watching. And yeah, the. I admire Simmons for for making the jump, even though she's like, "There's no, there's no one there. There's nothing there." You know, something like that. She must really trust Bobby by by this point to still make the jump. But yeah, they land on the the stealth thing, and you know, Triplet is like, "Good to have you back." And let's see. Yeah, and they realize that Sky has left. And yeah, Sky and AC talk in the place Zabo was supposed to be, and he's watching them on camera. And we have the thing with, you know, he is a, and he finishes the word monster. You know, and I appreciate, you know, on several occasions in this episode, he loses self control. By the way, I don't. I'm not sure I've mentioned it in in one of these videos. Love seeing Kyle MacLachlan. Uh, you know, I have not seen him in that many things, but I know he's beloved on Twin Peaks and and Dune. You know, I really only let's see. Um. Yeah, I'm actually. I I guess I've only seen like clips of stuff he's on. I don't actually think I've, let's see, The Librarian, he was in one of those. I vaguely recall, and he did a voice for Grand Theft Auto 3, right, Showgirls, that's the, yeah, that's the thing I've seen him in, yeah. I realize that he's capable of much more than, uh, yeah. But, but yeah, you know, he loses control and hits the mirror when Reyna, you know, and, and chokes Reyna. Really glad that Reyna didn't die. I would really, I I know at some point she's going to leave the show. 
I'm really gonna miss her. But yeah, the uh, let's see. Yeah, you know, he loses control there. He loses control. Yeah, you know, we didn't see it, but apparently he lost control with the GSW and the the buddy, and and killed them. We see the aftermath, and uh, you know, yeah, loses control. Watching Sky realize that he's a monster, and then you know, at the end of the episode, although some of that was self defense, but yeah, he attacks Whitehall's people, and I appreciate that the the. What's the word? Uh, the yeah, Fitzsimmons meeting back again. That it is this thing of like, um, what's the word? That the Fitzsimmons is. You know, that it is this thing, you know, he doesn't just run and, you know, run into her arms. You know, it wouldn't feel right. It wouldn't feel real. You know, there's a lot of Hollywood things where it's like, you know, oh, it's it can only be happy, but it's more complicated than that. Their, their feelings towards each other are more complicated. You know, he does feel like she... You know, yeah, her her leaving did hit really hard, and then we learn that the the ex-wife that Lance is always going on about is actually Bobby, and I really appreciate that they actually like he's the Lance is the one who comes out seeming unreasonable in this scene, not Bobby. You know, like both of them, you know. Both of them have some lines that make it very clear they are indeed X, uh, you know, but yeah, like she's being very, he, you know, he's the one who, who is, is unreasonable. I will say, you know, wouldn't have killed Colson to tell Lance, you know, your, your ex is working with us, you know, but yeah, you know, it's revealed she's why Lance was hired. She gave a a really good recommendation, you know, and him, instead of being like, oh, I didn't expect that, thank you, he's like, why would you do that? You know, he's the one who's unreasonable. He's, it's completely, so I really appreciate that. And he has been called out on the raging misogyny of every time he talks about her in earlier episodes. And yeah, Sky says, you know, I'm in, but no more secrets, no more lies. And yeah, she identifies the symbols as a map. And yeah, you know, Coulson says, you know, no matter how much I carve, it means nothing to me, which is sadly true of a lot of young men. And yeah, very very intriguing ending of the episode with Zabo suggesting an alliance to, to Whitehall so they can fight S.H.I.E.L.D. together, which, yeah, you know, that, and, and it's great because the first time in the episode that he mentioned, you know, he referenced Whitehall, he was like, but that guy's, you know, he's a butcher. And now he's willing to, to work with him because you know, if I if I understand correctly, basically like he wants Sky back and he thinks the only way is to kill all the people you know that she's working with, so there's no one to keep him from to keep her from him. So some IMDB trivia. Let's see. Um Oh, there's a brief reference in one scene of the Hydra Lab of a comic book character named Bessie the Hell Cow. Yeah, I should have known that. A, I love comic books. I should have known that was a comic book thing. When when they said, what kind of cow gives this kind of milk? I like, call her Bessie. And... 
Oh, that's right. Both Adrian Palicki and Kobe Smulders have portrayed the DC Comics character of Wonder Woman. Adrian in the aborted live action 2011 Wonder Woman. Uh, yeah, Kobe did voiced her from for the Lego movie. And had also been attached to a proposed live action film written by Joss Whedon. And the location for the wedding reception, you know, is also in Daredevil, the the 2003 movie, not the far superior Netflix show. I still love a lot about the movie, but yeah, that's the 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 hotel. Yeah, and huh, two minutes and twenty seconds pass in real time on the two minute timer that Reina sets on her phone in the restaurant and yeah in the Marvel comics Barbara Bobby Morse is the shield agent known as Mockingbird and yeah at the end of the episode Hunter says that he preferred Bobby as a blonde and she is blonde in the comics and Oh, wow. Originally, the character of Sunil Bakshi was going to die when Cal brings the obelisk to Whitehall, but the producers enjoyed Simon Cassianade's performance so much during the table read that they decided to keep him in the series for a while longer. And I see why. He's, he's really, really engaging. And... Oh. Huh. Let's see... <laughs> yeah, so Reina meets Colson at a restaurant called La Comtesse Furiose. This translates from French to be the angry countess and could just as easily refer to Reina as to Bobby. Yeah. And that is what I have to say for the... Yeah. Right, um, yeah, I like that Sky could smell that Lance has been drinking. And... And, yeah, when, when you know, yeah, why are you still staring at me? At me? Because you just admitted I'm not real. Oh, please, I'm not going to have this conversation with myself again. Because normally when people say that, they're saying, I'm not going to have this conversation with you again. And, <laughs> right, and the, yeah, Lance realizing that Reyna was hitting on Coulson. And I like that, you know, May and Sky are both like, yep, that's, that's what she does. And I think that might be about. Right, and, and Ward saying, you know, to be honest, I was almost relieved when S.H.I.E.L.D. put him down. The Garrett I knew was long gone once the writing started. Whatever took his place, I don't think it was meant to survive. So that's, yeah. And, yeah, and Coulson notes, you know, maybe the reason Sky didn't have the same reaction is because, yeah, she might be alien. The, the alien DNA was present before they gave her the shot. Because she really does not appear to have changed at all, which is very different from what we saw from both Coulson and Garrett. Both of whom we knew for at least some before they got the, the, the DNA. And... I think that might be about right and the yeah when when Raina says you must believe me agent Colson we want the same thing and he says unless it's an end to this conversation I'm pretty sure we don't burn and I think 
Right, and yeah, um, when when Raina says, I really wanted to bring you, Sky, and Sabo re responds, that's not her name. You know, and it, it is, you know, the other times that she, they the two of them talked about her, she said, your daughter. You know, so this is the first time that he's... Yeah, and... Let's see... Right, and also the line, you brought me a picture and a promise, I still only have the picture, is also quite good. And, right, and we, yeah, we learn that, you know, Zabo found Reina in the streets, you know, long ago with just those fairy tales your grandmother told you. And I think that is it. So, yeah. I will try to do an episode tomorrow. We'll see. Otherwise, the next video on the show will be Saturday. And, yeah. I, I'm not sure that I recall anyone still using the term epic fail in the year 2014. So in your attempt to, to reference, yeah, that was indeed an epic fail.